Good evening. I'm Daryl Murray with Welcome Home Ministries. Uh, as I present this uh, CEO, Frank Kalinsky, uh CEO of the Year Award, I just, as reigning CEO of last year, I uh, want you to know you're going to be invited to county fairs, elementary schools, a lot of prestigious places to tell your story. So um, I hope you have time in your calendar. But um, the winner this year is the first CEO and founder of this organization in just over 10 years, and you'll probably figure out who this is as we get along here. Uh, in just over 10 years, this person and their organization uh, has created a treatment and recovery support programs across the state and as well as permanent uh, affordable housing communities. Additionally, uh, recently they've built a state-of-the-art treatment facility Every day they can serve up to 160 people across the Tennessee in residential treatment on each day. Under this person's leadership, uh, their staff would have this to say about them, these kind of descriptive words. The leadership can best be described as consensus building with a strong emphasis on encouragement and affirmation. This person is enthusiastic, passionate, authentic, and approachable. This person is not uh, pretentious, and it's wonderful, it has a wonderful, unique sense of humor. Is very good at giving affirmation to the team, and because of that, her team always feel appreciated by their CEO. This person does a wonderful job uh, with her board of directors, directors keep, keeping them involved and bringing them along in the process. Under this person's leadership, the organization has become a premier example of a non-government organization that has combined private and public funding to provide excellent services at very effective costs. This person understands the concept of leveraging current funds to realize funding for the future. This person is no stranger to awards and accolades. Um, this person uh, was uh, won the first place award in the conference of uh, portraits of compassion video contest and President Bush introduced this, one of the graduates of this program and her daughter as exemplifying the powerful success story of those in recovery. Um, also, the White House uh, Office of National Drug Council Policy named this person as the premier leader of recovery support services in the country. This person and her organization was described as having a balanced approach, one that draws upon prevention, treatment, recovery support, law enforcement, interdiction, and international partnerships. In, 19, uh, in 2009, they were asked by SAMHSA to lead, lead strategic plans, uh, workshop, uh, planning, workshop plannings across the country. Uh, the National Criminal Justice Association named this organization as an outstanding criminal justice program for Southern Region. In 2008, the Faith-Based Con Corrections Conference presented uh, this organization was awarded for the best transitional housing. I'm kind of jealous about that one. In uh, 2011, this organization was recognized by the White House Office of National Council of Drug Policies as one of the 10 champions of change organizations in the country. We're fortunate enough to have her serve in our organization, TADIS, on the, on the data committee and various other committees. And those of you who've been around for a while uh, know that if you're ever in a discussion and it gets a little heated or a little tense, this person just can kind of make everything sound like it was okay, and everybody's kind of, and, and one of the most uh, affirming people that I've ever been around is somebody that I've watched from when she started the organization, how she's just really grown this thing uh, from nothing to, to a statewide organization, Knoxville, Nashville, uh, Chattanooga, thank you, all around the state, and um, we're fortunate to have her as, 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 as a member on, on our team, and I'm fortunate to have her and to call her a friend, and you are too. Linda Leather, congratulations, <laughs> CEO of the year. Well, I just uh, want to thank you so much. Um, Daryl is, is awesome has done so much and I I stand here um, this could have been so many of you and this role is so blessed to be CEOs of these great organizations that are doing such good work 
I've, we learn from you as the next door. We are receiving so much from this organization, and we're just grateful to be a part of it. And I just want to say specifically, I'm so grateful to serve an organization like the next door with the professionals that I sit with here tonight, and there's others in the room, uh, just overwhelmed by the joy of living out my calling with these individuals. And so uh, on behalf of the next door, because any award that we get, is it's a team award. Goodness, mercy, it's such a team. We just want to say thank you. It's an honor for us to be involved. And I will also say we all have in this industry, we have those behind us, this great cloud of witnesses that are working like mad, our families and, and those that may not get to be up front. And I think um, I'm specifically grateful for Gary, my husband, who's here tonight. And, and just so many of us all have people in our lives who are supporting us. And that's what it takes. And so, again, from the next door, we say thank you for this. And we look forward to partnering with you in the days ahead to make um, this community in this state even better. Grace. Thanks so much.